Hi guys, Ronnie from Phone Arena, and you guys must have surely heard of IFA or IFA or International Funkastelung Berlin of Dosh. So this is the one of the oldest uh, technology conferences or shows which happens in Europe, and uh, we've been in covering it for almost three, four years now. And you guys must have surely seen videos of products uh, launched at the show. And this year, uh, actually, the organizers of IFA. Uh, invited me to a global press conference in Lisbon, Portugal. And I went all the way up to uh, Lisbon, beautiful country and a beautiful event as well. Got to meet many brands, the uh, organizers of the IFA show and also multiple journalists from all over the world. So let's go ahead and find out what happened in Lisbon at the global press conference. You guys must have surely heard of IFA or International Funkastelung Berlin of Dosh, which happens every year in Berlin in September. The organizers hold a GPC or a global press conference every year and they invited me to the press conference in Lisbon, Portugal a few days back. It was a great experience. IFA flew in over 200 journalists from all over the world and literally painted the whole town red in IFA colors. Got a chance to meet several companies who showed off some cool products at the event and also meet tech journalists from all over the world. Sennheiser showed off their all-new Oral MBO headset for the iPhone which can capture audio in 3D and they even gave us one to try out. It is amazing how this piece of technology works. Imagine being able to capture audio as you experience it and then relive the experience in the future. Sennheiser is actually working with Samsung to develop an MBO headset compatible with Android devices. Posh Design showed off their Book One which is a luxury Windows laptop and a premium alternative to the Microsoft Surface Book. It has premium written all over it and even the hinge is well designed. Specs include a 13.3-inch QHD display, Intel i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 5 GB of SSD storage, and 14 hours of battery life. The Book One will cost about $2,500 and is already shipping in many countries. Dirage showed off a smart mirror powered by Windows. It's really cool how a piece of fashion can actually work with technology so well. The company will launch a larger version, Dirage XL, at IFA 2017. Samsung showed off their QLED TVs and the all-new TVs called the Frame, which blend into your room like a painting. LG has already launched wallpaper TVs, but Samsung is taking an interesting approach in the same space. Philips teased their Sonic Air Diamond Clean smart toothbrushes, which they would unveil at IFA 2017. Analysts from GFK and IHS Market also shared interesting thoughts about the consumer electronics market. GFK said over 2.6 million TVs were sold in India over the last few months, and we spend over 38% of our day consuming content on TV, 33% on a computer, and 29% on mobile devices including tablets. With the rising popularity of voice-based assistants like Alexa, we can see more gadgets support touch functionality in the coming months. We just booked our tickets to Berlin yet again, and we should be reporting from the show floor in September 2017. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit like if you like this video and want to see more travel and even videos like this. And thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.